Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to the first OC Varsity Softball Dugout Show of the season. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, and I'm being joined by our softball beat writer, Kenny Connolly. How are you, Kenny? Doing good, Jonathan. How are you? Ready for softball season. We're here at La Palma Park here in Anaheim. Uh, the Lions tournament's going on. The finish tomorrow night, Wednesday, and you'll see the championship game. But that's baseball. Let's talk softball, Kenny. One of the most prestigious tournaments, I, I believe, in the whole country is the Michelle Carew Classic. Uh, I love going out there every year. You see the top ta the top talent in softball. And, and this year, I think the biggest storyline heading into the Carew Classic is Pacifica. They're going to try and do what no team has ever done, and that's three-peat. That's right. Pacifica's won the last two tournaments, beating Yorba Linda last year. So they come into this year. Uh, looking to get that, that third straight victory, uh, but this field is stacked. There's 32 teams in the field, 31 of them made the playoffs last year. Uh, 29 of these teams come in with winning records, and it's just absolutely loaded with national talent, nationally ranked talent. But Pacifica seems to be like the favorite. They got the pitching to make a run in one of these tournaments. You look at, at Kaylee Carlson and, and Kaylee Weingartner, and you just got a great one-two punch who can sustain that consistency over four and five games. So Pacifica is the team to be, I think, uh, in this tournament. They get Nicole DeWitt back from a concussion. She's missed the last couple of weeks. So they, uh, they should uh, you know, be right there at the very end. Which team do you think has the best chance to surprise some people, maybe some players to look out for? Absolutely. Uh, they did it last year, so there's no reason they can't do it again this year. Your Belinda. Your Belinda's 9-1. and one. Uh, Paige Von Sprecken is one of those pitchers who can just dominate, fl uh, flat She's out a dominate. Beast, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, they got upset by La Habra two weeks ago. She comes back, she throws a one-hitter, she comes back after that, throws a no-hitter. So her last two games, she's given up one hit and struck out over 20 batters. So uh, they got the momentum rolling a little bit, uh, and they're going to be a team, too, that, you know, if Paige can really get it going, they're going to be real difficult to beat. And uh, that's not the only tournament going on. The Woodbridge uh, tournament actually ends on Saturday. What do you know about that one, Kenny? It ends on Saturday. Uh, it'll be at Bill Barber Park in Irvine. Uh, four teams left. We only have one county team left, though. That's, uh, that's Edison. Edison came into this tournament one and four overall. They've won three straight games all by shutout. And it's all sophomore pitcher uh, Kiana Pacino. Okay. She, uh, she got a no-hitter uh, just yesterday uh, to beat uh, La Habra 4 nothing. Nice. So, uh, you know, everybody thought Marina would be there at the very end. Uh, Marina got no hit by uh, La Mirada yesterday. So it'll be La Mirada and uh, Edison tomorrow in the uh, semifinals, or excuse me, Saturday in the semifinals. All right, good stuff. And uh, that's going to do it for the tournament talk. And join us next week where, where we will get into league play. Our thanks to Kenny Connolly. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. And check out OCVarsity.com for all your latest softball updates. Thank you for watching. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.